Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we're working on the third challenge of Marguerite Miller's prompt cards. This week the prompt is a form, blank or filled. So I went through my stash and I found this old, uh, the version of when you take a telephone call for someone and you write it on this pad of while you were out. So I'm going to use this as my base and uh, cover most of the card with this. Maybe go ahead and just trim around the sides so I don't have any um, frame around this. Fit on as much as possible and then this part will be just cut off. But I definitely want all these words and this, um, these, these uh, blocks down here. I'm gonna rummage through my stash of scraps I have here. I have a whole bunch I've got where I've uh, fussy cut out a bird and left the leaves. I've got strips of six by six uh, pads paper pads there. I have these. Uh, so I have a whole bunch of goodies to go through. Let me pull something together um, and see what I can come up with. So here are the few things I pulled together um, trying to keep in the, say, in the green family. I found this uh, coffee splattered colored uh, book page. I dyed the book page uh, a color and then I s splattered some coffee on it. I have a couple of examples of coffee dyed paper here, a little light, a little dark. I have another version of a ledger page. I've got another piece of ink dyed paper that I've made this and I'll give a video on that. I did find where I fussy cut one of the bigger birds. There's a smaller one here. I'm thinking about cutting him out and putting it on there. Here's another shimmery coffee dyed uh, paper that has a little mica stain on there. So I think I'm gonna work with these and see what I can, what to lay out I can come up with. So after playing around with a few of the pieces, I'm not, I'm not feeling this. Uh, I'm not going to use the little fussy cut parrot. She's just too small and seems to get lost in here. I don't think I want these, um, this book page strip. I do like the green, solid green in here. I definitely like the ledger paper. So this will be behind it or in front of it. But I came across this decoupage napkin on a book page, and um, I like the contrast here to add in a little more color and still having green. So I think I'll cut this down to size, maybe cut it in stamp form, and uh, try to place this on here somewhere. After trying a bunch of different uh, options, I think I am gonna go with this. And then I found some uh, grid washi tape because this to me is uh, needs some contrast. So I'm thinking of putting this here 
and then that's a grid, and this is a grid, and then find something I can lay across here at the top at the bottom, a label is what I have in mind. So uh, let me get this all glued down, and then uh, we'll take it to the next step. Okay, everything is glued down, and I like how everything is laid out. I'm going to find something I'd like to put here or here to balance out this side. I said I was going to use a label. I have these um, washi stickers that come in a roll, but they're individual stickers. So I'm thinking maybe I could just do something as simple as this butterfly, or maybe even just... Um, something something I think I need something pretty big okay I was going through my labels I'm not going to do a washi uh, sticker on there but these labels are all on are printed on coffee dyed paper and uh, they're all ha they're green and black they're all in green uh, printed with green so I'm thinking that I could just memorandum this is sort of like a memorandum I like that um, and just add a simple label on here to uh, coordinate with the rest of the theme Okay, I'm gonna call this one done for now. I might add a little extra something. If it goes into a specific journal that has a theme, I may put whatever I need to here that matches with that theme, but I like how this turned out. I like the uh, uh, color, color combination of the greens and the browns, and um, I hope you like it as well as I do. If you'd like to join in, the hashtag is MMPromp.com cards and it's marguerite miller's uh challenge and this week the theme the prompt was a form so i thank you for coming for watching and everybody have a great day bye bye